Hi, I'm Mary Balfour, the MD of Drawing Down the Moon, the original personal introduction agency, and I'm going to share some of my top tips to set the scene for a successful first date. The thing is, these can be a bit of, well, artificial and maybe challenging. Even captains of industry, television presenters and so forth can find themselves thrown and behaving a bit out of character on a first date. So to diffuse any tension, it's best to approach it as no big deal. Please never dinner with its hidden agenda, just an informal chat over a drink. So how to fix this date, whether on the phone, face to face, whatever, I'd avoid saying, shall we meet up sometime? Instead, make a specific suggestion for perhaps five or six days ahead, offering a couple of alternatives. Weekday evenings are ideal, Avoid weekends if you can, and maybe best not to be too available when discussing options, lest you come across as perhaps a bit needy. So of course, you'll have checked out some good venues first, convenient for both of you, somewhere informal and with a relaxed ambiance, not too noisy, and with gentle lighting. By the way, never meet at each other's homes, or heaven forbid, in the street, and avoid accepting or offering a lift. Just ensure you have your own transport to and from. Watch point. To avoid embarrassment, be clear at this stage that it's to be just a short date, an hour or two max, so you don't run out of conversation or get in deeper than you mean to. And this way you have an easy exit if it's running out of energy. And if it's zinging along wonderfully, you part with lots yet to discover about each other, much more conducive to that second date materialising. The slow burn seems to be part of so many of our success stories. Watch point. Don't be tempted to use up all your icebreakers chatting for ages on the phone. Keep them for the date itself. And do remember to exchange mobile numbers in case of last minute hitches and guys Please remember that it's much more embarrassing for a woman to wait alone in a bar. Do please be punctual. Might the date benefit from a touch of homework? If you're a bit of a workaholic, as many of us are these days, with little or no time out to check up on what's happening in the world, you can cheat by the week. An easy to read digest of everything news, current affairs, culture, gossip, scandal, films, music, etc. Also, check out stuff your date might be interested in too. And if you're a member of Drawing Down the Moon, the date portrait we give you on the phone beforehand will give you all the pointers you need so that you don't run out of steam. I do hope you found these tips interesting and if you're not a Drawing Down the Moon member, do give us a ring to see if we can help you find that special person. 0207 224 1001 10 30 a.m. to 11 p.m. seven days a week. Or visit the website drawingdownthemoon.co.uk and you can maybe check out my other videos too. Good luck and take care.